A quantum computer might sound like a mythical beast that only exists in science fiction, but at Dirac, we're building quantum computer chips using processes very similar to ones that are used to make the chips in your phone and your laptop. Here's how that works. Phones and computers store information in ones and zeros, called bits. In the simplest terms, these bits are like tiny switches that control the flow of electrical charge. If the charge flows, it registers as one, no charge, and it's a zero. By combining billions of these ones and zeros, computers can make all sorts of calculations that help you to pay for a coffee or navigate a route in lots of different ways. Quantum computers are different. They still output zeros and ones, but the laws of quantum mechanics allow quantum bits or qubits to exist simultaneously in a one state and a zero state right up until the point at which we measure them. This means that quantum computers can perform some calculations by considering billions of different possibilities simultaneously, allowing them to do things that regular computers could never do, even if we connected up all the computers in all the data centers in the world and let them run from now until the end of time. There are lots of different ways of making qubits. You just need a quantum system with two states, and you need to be able to isolate it to preserve the fragile quantum information. Dirac uses electrons, which can be isolated in silicon, the very same material that makes up the bulk of the device you're watching this on. And that means that the huge semiconductor foundries that pump out the chips in these devices could be repurposed to pump out Dirac's quantum chips. Dirac has shown that silicon qubits fabricated in a foundry environment can perform quantum operations with low enough errors to make a real quantum computer work. The only thing left to do is to scale up to millions of these qubits. And because electrons are so small, we'll be able to fit millions of them on a single chip. The path to quantum computing is clear, and it's built on silicon.